Remove the Foley tray from the plastic bag. You can take the plastic bag and use it for trash. Carefully open the Foley tray. Remove the sterile drape and place it with the shiny side down underneath the patient. Next, apply your sterile gloves. In this video, we will not use the fenestrated drape or the collection bottle. Remove the top tray from the box and place it on your sterile drape. Next, remove the catheter from the sterile package, making sure that you keep the catheter coiled in your sterile glove so that it does not touch anything. Place lubricant on the tip of the catheter. Attach the sterile water to the port that will be inflating the balloon. The manufacturer no longer recommends checking the balloon first. We will inflate the balloon with the sterile water after the Foley has been placed in the patient. Open the Betadine very carefully and soak the cotton balls. Make sure that your patient does not have an allergy to iodine. Use the cotton ball grasper to pick up the cotton balls that are soaked in the betadine and clean the meatus. It will be necessary to open the labia on the female in order to see the meatus. Next, insert the Foley catheter into the meatus carefully until you see urine flowing in the tube. Once urine is identified in the tube, insert the tube another one and a half to two inches before inflating the balloon with sterile water. Once you are sure that the catheter is in the bladder, inflate the balloon with 10 cc's of sterile water. Gently pull back on the catheter to be sure that it is in place. After the Foley has been successfully inserted, tape the tubing to the side of the patient's inner thigh. Be sure to leave some slack so that the tubing is not pulling. Next, take the bag out of the box and secure the Foley bag to a non-movable part of the patient's bed. Be sure that the Foley is draining urine at this time. This is the University of Hawaii Maui College, the college on Maui.